Hi there, my name is Alex. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little pill plush. The things you'll need for this project are yarn in at least two colours, a hook to suit amigurumi, a pair of scissors, a darning needle, some polyfiber fill, some felt and fabric glue, safety eyes and embroidery cotton. Now depending on what theme or colour scheme you want to make your pill, you may not need all of the things on the list. This one has safety eyes, a little bit of pink embroidery cotton, some pink felt for the mouth. But you don't need to use safety eyes, it's up to you as to what you want to do with your pill. If you use thicker yarn, you'll end up with a much larger pill than the smaller ones I have here. And if you follow my big pill tutorial, you'll make a chunky pillow size pill like this one here. This is my huge chill pill and I've got a tutorial for this on also showing you how to make the happy pill as well. Now today I'm using some milk cotton yarn, which is about a, a fairly light worsted weight and a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. Now we're going to start with the colour that we're using for the top of the pill and you want to create a magic ring. Now if you're having trouble creating a magic ring, I have two tutorials on my channel. One of them is for a super easy hack uh, for anyone who's really struggling with creating a magic ring. Very easy to follow. And you want to create six single crochets around in that ring making sure that you tuck in both of those um, uh, thicknesses of yarn. You want to have the ring and the tail and you're going to be working around those or over the top of those. Now after you've completed your six single crochets in your magic ring, you want to just tighten the ring a little bit by pulling on that tail, but not completely until we join to the beginning of our round. So with that very first stitch that we created, you can see in the top there is a back loop and a front loop. Now what I want you to do is to join to the very back loop by using a slip stitch. So I'll show you here, insert your hook under that back loop, pick up the yarn and pull it through the loop and through the loop on your hook. Now what you've done there is you've completed that first round, so you've finish that by joining it and now we're going to create our very first stitch for round two by going under both loops in that very same stitch. So that's our first single crochet. Now we're going to create another stitch in exactly the same spot because this round calls for two single crochets into every stitch space. And now that we've completed that first stitch and we've joined our round we can tighten the magic ring just pull on that carefully to tighten up that hole and now continue on to round two by creating two single crochet stitches into every stitch space. So that's going to give you 12 stitches for round two. And on to round three. We're going to join using exactly the same method that we did before, which is to slip stitch into the back loop of our very first stitch in that round. So now we've completed that round. We're going to create our first single crochet under both the front and the back loop of that same stitch space. The next stitch space, we want to create two single crochets. And we're going to repeat this pattern six times around. So one single crochet and then two single crochets into that next space, which is also known as an increase. On to round four, you'll create two single crochets. Then in that third stitch, you're going to create two single crochets into the same space. So that's an increase. Repeat that six times around, which will give you 24 stitches at the end of round four. Now we're finished with our increasing. So for rounds five through to round 12, 
you want to just do a single crochet stitch into every stitch space. Now remember we're continuing to do that joining method into that back, uh, back loop of our very first stitch in a round. That continues for every round here. So at the end of round 12 you will still have 24 stitches. Just a little reminder too that if I'm going too quickly for you or too slowly, don't forget you can always slow down or speed up the speed of your video in YouTube. Now at the end of round 12, it is time to change colour. If you're enjoying making this small pill or little pill, I really urge you to check out the big pill tutorial that I have available. They make the very best cushions or big plushies. I think you're going to really enjoy that tutorial. Check that you have actually created your 12 rounds and grab that second colour yarn that you're going to be using. And if you have joined to the beginning of round 12, you want to undo that join and also undo the very last stitch in round 12. Tie it with a single knot of the new yarn onto your existing coloured yarn. And we're going to create half of a single crochet. So we have the two loops of your main colour or your first colour on your hook. And then you want to be able to pull through the new colour that you're uh, changing over to. Then we can join to the very first single crochet in that round. So once you've completed that, just firm up those tails, yarn tails, and tie a knot so that they won't go anywhere. And you can trim any excess yarn there. So we're going to be working solely in the back loops. As we've already joined to our back loop, we want to create a chain stitch, which will work and count as our very first stitch in that round. Then over to the next back loop and single crochet, and you continue to do that all the way around. And this is going to give us a nice little uh, sort of edge, how like a, a pill or a capsule has that line of color change. So it's just going to add a little bit of a design element to our pill. On to rounds 14 through to 18, you want a single crochet around but going through both the loops. So we join as we would normally to that very back loop and then single crochet all the way around for rounds 14 to 18. Now at this stage, this is where I like to add the face to the pill before it's all filled with fibre fill and it gives us access to the back. So we want to make sure that our join is actually on the back part of the pill. And if you're using safety eyes, I'd like to position them uh, about six stitches apart and two rounds down from the colour change. Uh, put them in, just have a little play with them. You might want to put them in a different position. So uh, yeah, just the best to try them first. Make sure that you're happy with that positioning. I'm going to use this little felt mouth. I will change the eyes though, but for say a little happy pill, that's a really cute little face. I'm going to create a chill pill like this one here. So I've taken out the safety eyes and I'm going to stitch using my embroidery cotton, inserting my needle from the very back part of the, uh, of the pill and bringing through my thread, not all the way through, just holding the tail of the thread and stitching to make it look like it's kind of like a scribbled uh, pen kind of eye. So backwards and forwards, kind of quite messy. Just crossing over into the sort of pattern that I like. Now you use exactly the same technique for creating the cheeks or a stitched eye of a different sort of style or the stitched mouth. Just tying those tails at the end and trimming the excess and repeat that as many times as you need to to complete your little pill's face. Enjoying this tutorial so far? I hope you are and if you are please hit that like button and consider subscribing for some more 
really fun creative craft content. I've got some awesome things planned for you and I'd hate you to miss out. And back to the project. I'm just stitching on some little rosy cheeks onto my pill. And again, I will just tie those little tails at the back so that they won't go anywhere and trim off any excess yarn. Now, anything that you're going to glue onto your little pill's face, uh, you can do that when you're finished. And it's probably best that you do that when it's finished after it's been filled with fiber fill and it's all settled and in its, in its right place. And don't forget, if you are using safety eyes, you want to secure the eyes into place by putting the little stoppers on the back. Make sure that they are on firmly as well. Now it's time to add some fibre fill. You don't want to add too much at this point. You'll have an opportunity to add some more later on. And you also want to keep the, the fill away from where you're going to be crocheting because it's very easy to pull some of the fibre fill through with your hook and make a real mess of it. So you don't want to do that. Now I also find that smaller amounts of fibre fill help to reduce um, that risk of having lumps and bumps, especially in a really simple shape like this pill. Now on to rounds 14 through to 21. Nice and easy, just single crocheting around which will give you 24 stitches for each round. If you do make your own pill or you follow any of my other tutorials here on my YouTube channel and you're on Instagram, I would love you to share your creations with me simply by hashtagging your images to make it with Alex. Now on to round 22 and we're going to start our decreasing. So in the very first two stitches, you want to create a single crochet. So single crochet, single crochet, and now we're going to decrease. So the very front loops of the next two stitches, we're going to pick those up onto our hook and create one single crochet. So that actually will just join the two stitches together and it's what we call the invisible decrease. So picking up one front loop, then the next front loop, yarn over and through those two loops, yarn over and back through the remaining two loops. So again, that's a single crochet and a single crochet, and then the decrease, so the front loop, front loop, yarn through those two loops, yarn over and through the remaining two loops. So repeating that around, which will reduce our number down to 18 stitches. Now on to round 23, we're going to create one single crochet, then a decrease, so those front two loops, and repeating that around, giving you 12 stitches. Now we've got some time to pop in some more fibre fill. This is really our last chance to um, fill it up as, as comfortably full as our little pill should be. Small amounts and just making sure it's nice and firm. So round 24 is the very last round of this project and probably the trickiest. You've joined to that back loop and you now have to decrease. So you're going to take the very front loop of the same stitch and the front loop of the next stitch and create a single crochet decrease. And you're going to decrease all the way around, so taking your 12 stitches down to 6 stitches. And I do understand this is a bit of a tricky, uh, tricky round to do because your little pill is bursting with fibre fill, but I know you can do this. So when you finish, you just trim your yarn and pull it through that existing loop on your hook. And we're going to either sew your pill closed or you can use your crochet hook to do this. So you're just going to pull through the yarn tail through each of those last six stitches. Just one loop of the stitch on all six. So just taking our time going around. Pulling it through 
and then you can pull that tail gently which will close the hole up. Then you can simply hide your yarn tail into the uh, inside of your little pill. And trim off any excess. Now the last step of course is to glue on any felt features. I've cut out my little smiley mouth. I'm gluing that into place using some craft fabric glue. so so cute really happy with how these little pills turned out and they make really cute key rings bag charms and unique gifts to give to a friend you can even add like a squeaker or a little bell inside as a pet toy just make sure that the eyes are on securely if you're going to do that thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoy this video and have been inspired to make your own little pill Please show your support by hitting that like button and consider subscribing to my channel for instant access to fun and creative project tutorials. I'd love you to join me on this journey. Thanks again, be safe, positive, and as always, stay awesome.